He was at the Ken Mart, I was a build a while ago, and um, just doing a bit of an experiment. I just put some gears on it. And this little driving uh, VCR stepper motor, which only has a tiny output of about 2.5 volts. And the output voltage I put through a little transformator here and step it up on the, from the 12 volt binding to the 240 volt binding in a bridge rectifier. This a capacity to drive a couple of LEDs. The bottom sine wave is from the output directly out of the little stepper motor. Very interesting waveform. Even more interesting is this the loaded a little transformer. I'll put it on the other side and we'll get the saturation wave. Interesting wave patterns. The top is the sine wave from the 20 volts AC mains, while the bottom one is the output from the little alternator. This is an interesting ripple. Interesting. Now I've got the oscilloscope leads connected to the AC binding on the HV side, where the rectifier is, and now we've got this particular sine wave. Squares, almost. The top sine wave is still from the mains. You've got the DC ripple on the particular uh, output of this thing. It's just curious, I was surprised with these waveforms, I didn't expect those. And the scale division 10 millivolts, correction, 50 millivolts per division. And here we got the uh, top one is the output versus the input on the transformer. Very ugly wave shapes. It uh, actually did surprise me that we have, uh, especially the flat top uh, sine waves. I don't know really why, but um, hey, it's interesting. The things you normally don't see when you hook things up and play around with it. But yeah, this device is quite nice. Now we've got the gears here. The torque is not good on this motor. It will slow it down quite easy. But for experimental purposes it's uh, an interesting project. Maybe a little pre-Christmas style is this color fading LEDs. I'll just turn the de energize the light here. To enhance it a little bit more. Go back to the oscilloscope. I'll see what happens when we slow the thing down. Yeah, the voltage output decreases. As there's less flux created, that's quite interesting actually. Look, we do this again. I hope the camera picks up these sound waves quite nicely. You know, I was stationary. And there we start. Quickly we caught one more start here. Slow start at 20 volts. I love the sound of the gears. Thanks for watching. I'm doing a quick speed check. The speed was loaded at 40 volts to 724 volt revolutions per minute. I'm going to take the load off and do another test. Motor runs at 1280 RPM, 1280. So it's quite a bit of slip, it's supposed to be running nearly 1500 RPM.